Hello everybody, this is Tech Hut. In this video, what we're gonna be doing is taking a look at the new Ubuntu installer. Now we briefly took a look at this a uh, couple months ago with the release of Groovy Gorilla, but at the time I had to like pull the sources from GitHub just to get it to work and it didn't actually work. You could just go through some of the menus up till the actual installation point. And after that, it just didn't work. But now this new installer is uh, currently shipping with some of the daily builds of Ubuntu 21.10. So it is now available for public testing and it should actually install our system properly and we should be able to use a lot more of the functionalities of it. And why is this a big deal, you may be asking? Simply, there are two reasons for this. One, Ubuntu has not updated their installer in a very long time. And number two, it is written in Flutter. Now, if you're not sure what Flutter is, uh, again, simply put, it is an open source UI software development kit developed by Google. And being that Chronicle, the head of Ubuntu basically, is a bigger company, they have lots of partnerships, it's really no surprise that they're using something that's open source from Google. Now I know I mentioned that we're currently in a developer preview of 21.10, but this installer isn't actually going to be officially released until the Ubuntu 22.04 LTS, which is expected to release in April of 2022. But with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at this, some of the new features and some of the options that we have for the install. So right now I'm here in Ubuntu, that daily testing build, and you can see right here the install Ubuntu 21.10. If we go ahead and open that up, we can see the new UI here. We have our initial language selection, so let's go ahead and continue. And here, this is really as far as we were able to get to previously. Uh, this repair installation right here is something that's new. So now you're going to be able to go ahead and put in a live USB and use this repair installation option to go ahead and reinstall Ubuntu without actually touching any uh, documents or settings on your system. So that is a very nice addition. We have Try Ubuntu here, which will just take us into this live environment, which we're already in. I'm assuming when this is actually released, it's going to boot to this screen. So then we can uh, hit Try Ubuntu and then go into this, but it just put us into the live disk image for now. And then of course we have install Ubuntu or Ubuntu. Uh, sorry if I've been saying it wrong, I'm still learning how to uh, talk, I guess. Okay, so keyboard layout, pretty basic selections. It's not too different than anything else except for the different uh, engine it's developed with. And it is more of a flat, clean, modern look. So let's go ahead and continue from here. Maybe we need to actually select it continue. There we go. I had to restart and open it back up again. This is a preview. This isn't ready. So once you hit continue after the keyboard layout, we have normal installation and minimal installation. Now at the moment, these are the only options we have, but soon you'll have the ability to configure advanced options such as encryption, active directory authentication, and currently there is no option to select your time zone. So that's probably going to be coming soon. But for now, let's go with the normal installation and let's go ahead and install these third party packages. I don't really need them, but we might as well go for it. And here we have the allocate disk space. Nothing's showing up at the moment. It should show my VirtualBox hard drive. I'm gonna close this out and just power through this one more time real quick because we saw we had an issue uh, selecting our keyboard. So boom, boom, uh, install third party, continue. There it is. So little hiccups here and there, but nothing too major. They've definitely made some huge improvements compared to last time we looked at it. But this is our only option. We see it's formatted. We have the mount point size used and the current system file system. It's completely blank, so it's not really going to show too much information. So let's start installing. But before it actually installs, it gives you a rundown of exactly what you're going to be doing to your hard drive. So from here, let's hit continue. And who am I? My name is Brandon. There we go, so just fill in all the details, computers Ubuntu, username again is Brandon, and our password, require password, and we'll hit continue from there. Oh, this is cool, you could go ahead and change your uh, dark or light theme right out of the gate. Uh, right now, if I go ahead and open this up, you see the light theme is default. Let's go ahead and select dark theme, and continue from there, and we'll actually see if this uh, holds when we reboot into the system. If the uh, dark theme is actually selected, that is really cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead in this video so you don't have to sit here for five to 10 minutes while we wait for this to install. Aw, oh, sad day. All right, um, I'm gonna restart and try this again and um, we'll see. 
Dun, 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 Let's go with just minimal, no third party anything. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, okay, start installing. Uh, dark, continue. Okay, we'll try this again. All right, so it seems like it actually worked that time. So let's go ahead and uh, restart our system and make sure our uh, device is unplugged here real quick and hit enter. All right, there we go. Now we're back into the look we had before. Uh, online accounts, doesn't look like this is dark theme, but I'm not sure if the uh, the welcome prompt supports that. So sure, I'll send them my data, why not? Uh, next, and done. So let's jump into here. Ah, it doesn't work yet. So the little theme selector thing isn't working out of the gate, but that is a cool thing. Hopefully they'll get working. Uh, by the time that's, they, they have a long time to get all this working perfectly fine. Oh, apparently NeoFetch isn't in the, uh, the daily build repository. That's fine. We, we were just taking a look at the installer and everything seems to have worked, uh, kind of fine. Uh, like I said, they have uh, quite a bit of time to make sure everything's working good, but overall it's beautiful. It's a nice, clean, simple UI. And uh, I'm looking forward to when this does actually release what um, Ubuntu flavors such as Pop, Farron, and all the others are gonna end up using this installer. Probably a lot of them because it's looking pretty good. Uh, with all that said, I do hope you enjoyed this video. I learned this from a 925 Linux article. So a link to that article will be linked down below. Uh, make sure you follow me on Twitter and big, 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 big. Thank you to the YouTube members and Patreon supporters. Mitchell Valentino is currently a uh, producer level supporter over on Patreon and we do have some uh, techies that are with us here. So I do thank you all for supporting the channel and supporting what I do. If you're interested in supporting what I do uh, through YouTube, you can just hit the join button or you can click the link to go ahead and uh, support me over on Patreon. Uh, with all that said, make sure you're subscribed and you ring that bell so you do not miss any future uploads. If you do want to try this out in that Linux 9 to 5 article, there's a link there. So that will be available to you. With all that said, have a beautiful day and goodbye.